What's going on guys? Geosnow right here. So in today's video we're discussing about future restore, we're discussing about downgrades, saving blobs and also we're discussing for the first time about possible downgrade of the 32-bit devices using Teamstar future restore or Prometheus method. Let's get straight into it. Probably you know that uh, Teamstar has pushed an update to the future restore application and according to him Quote, just pushed an update to the future restore which adds beta support for 32-bit devices. Now, previously he said in here that uh, future restore version 100 technically is able to restore 32-bit devices using the Prometheus method, but he's not officially supporting it. And also he said in here that people on 32-bit devices should save the SHSH files now, no matter what device, no matter what firmware version, and especially on 9.3.5. So you should go ahead and do that. I'm going to show you how. Now going ahead in here, uh, you probably know according to look at this code, the guy behind the yellow jailbreak, you should save the blobs. And if you're currently on iOS 10.2.1, you should stay in there if you want a jailbreak in the future. Also, he said he's done with jailbreaking, which means he's no longer providing one, but we should keep in mind that we have Pangu, we have um, the uh, the new fried apple team, Taiji, that might step in at some point, so it's not completely dead. Now, uh, how we go ahead and save them? If you want to, to jailbreak in the future and you have a 32-bit device, then you should get on hold for the moment. But if you are on 64-bit, uh, uh, you should probably go ahead back to 10.2.1 while it's still signed. iOS 10.3 is already up and it's been up for a couple of days now and um, iOS 10.3.2 beta is also up. So probably iOS 10.2.1 is not going to last very long now. I would recommend you to um, finish watching this video, go ahead, download the IPSW for your device on iOS 10.2.1 and go back to 10.2.1 if you are already on iOS 10.3 or 10.3.2 beta, because iOS 10.3 is less likely to receive any jailbreak. Now, how you save your blobs and how you use the future restore. The future restore, the latest version is available in the description, but as you can see, compared to the uh, DSS checker, the tool that we're going to use for saving the uh, the blobs, which uh, is actually made by the same Teamstar, uh, the future restore doesn't have a Windows version. So if you're a Windows user, I do, know, I do not know why would you do that to yourself, but if you're a Windows user, you should go ahead, install Linux or download a Linux to uh, USB, which would, will not actually delete your Windows, it will just boot on top of it, and do the procedures. Probably at some point I'm going to have a tutorial, and most likely I'm going to have a tutorial, but not for the moment. And I'm going to address the uh, macOS version. So as you can see, if you download it, it has this little file icon in here. You need to give it the appropriate permissions in order to load it. Because if you take it from here and drop it in terminal and try to start it, you're going to get errors. I'm showing you this because a lot of people are telling me they get permission denied error when they're trying to use the future restore tool. Now, you should keep in mind the future restore is the actual downgrade tool that you can use if you have saved your blobs. Now, in order to make it work, you need to simply ch mode it with this command, ch mode 775 should do it, and then drag the uh, the executable file in here, press enter, and it should change the uh, icon to the terminal icon. Now you are able to open it. I'm going to show you like this. You can see it's version 105, so it fixes a lot of issues in here. And there were some um, some uh, issues with the restore process, with the basement process. There, are, there were some issues with segmentation faults that apparently, uh, according to Teamstar, should be fixed by now. And uh, I have a couple of videos on how to use this program, and so I'm not going to repeat myself. If you go ahead in here, I'm going to link it in the description. This playlist that I created called iPhone Software Re Restore, sorry, Downgrade, is actually containing a lot of um, information on saving the blobs with various tools, with downgrades and future restore, how it works, how you should use it, how to fix various errors. So if you're interested in um, in uh, downgrades, you should go ahead and save this playlist to your account so that you get notified when updated. Now, um, in order to use it, you can, as I said, open it and use it, but you need to have the blobs saved. Uh, it's very important now to save your blobs. According to Timstar and look at the disco, um, 
you have more chances on iOS 10.2.1 than you have on iOS 10.3. And iOS 10.2.1 is still signed, but as I say, it is not going to be signed forever. It can probably get unsigned tomorrow or the day after tomorrow or any other day uh, in the future. So you should probably keep in mind that saving them now is actually the top priority if you want to ever be able to jailbreak and downgrade. So how, how you do it? You go ahead in terminal in here and use the uh, TSS checker latest version. Do not use the um, ticket box, do, you, do not use the website, the one Conan. They are good, both of them they are good, but the best option for you is us using TSS checker created by Teamstar as is the only tool for which Teamstar is providing support. Now the TSS checker is available for Linux, Windows and Mac OS, so you should be good to go in there. If you, if you receive any um, errors on Windows using the Windows variant, in the uh, playlist in here on iOS downgrade, I also have how to fix the, uh, the issues, so um, you should be good to go in there. The same thing you need to do to this TSS checker, you need to ch mode it, 775, in order to give yourself the permissions to open the application, because it's downloaded from the internet, like this and it's going to be working again. If you open it in here, you're going to print out this thing. I'm going to use a 32-bit device for the first time in order to save its blobs. You should do that as well. No matter if you're on iOS 10.x or 9.x or 8.x, save your blobs. According to Teamstar, there are actually attempts to make the future restore process to work with 32-bit devices, which is something new. Future Restore wasn't intended for 32-bit in the first place. But now I see uh, Teamstar is trying to add support for it, and that's that's pretty very that's pretty much good. And actually, um, we should thank Teamstar for that. And I'm going to uh, to get my device ready and be right back. Okay, so I have connected the uh, the iPhone 5. This sucker has seen better days. It's running iOS 10.3 which, yeah, there is no chance for it to be jailbroken for the moment. But I'm going to save its blobs for the iOS 10.2.1 because it's better to do so. So I took the, um, uh, I got to iTunes and took the serial number, but I should have taken the ACID in here. You should click ACID, copy it. Uh, the device is in recovery mode, but you can do that on normal mode as well, but I cannot do it because the uh, device is bypassed from iCloud and iTunes will ask me for the activation part if I put it in normal mode, but you can do that in normal mode with no problem. And um, you need to call again the application in here, and this is the same procedure for all the devices except the ones that have a dual processor. So you can have two different processors in some of the devices, for example in the iPhone 6S or the iPhone SE as far as I know. So it can be TSMC or it can be Samsung. And in that case, you need to specify the board code of the device. I have a video on that. It's very important to do that because if you do the same procedure we're doing right now on a device that has um, multiple processor types, then you're going to get errors. So in here, you should have a video. I'm going to link it in the description. Yeah, in here, this is the video on how to save using the board config. You need to specify that on uh, iPhone um, 6S and iPhone SE. Now I'm going to use the command because the iPhone 5 can only have one type of processor, which I think is Samsung. I'm going to use the following command. So you call the application with D and the device model. In this case, iPhone 5 is iPhone 5.2, comma 2 in here. And the iOS version that I want to save the blobs for is iOS 10.2.1 as it's still signed. But you should keep in mind that if um, if the iOS version is no longer signed, you will no longer be able to save the blobs. That's why it's important to do it right now as you're, as you're seeing the video. Then you need to uh, specify the, uh, the ACID with E and you're going to paste in here what you copied from iTunes. Uh, some people ask me on my channel, on the comment section, if I can provide my blobs that I saved for, um, for my devices to them so that they can restore. Unfortunately, the answer is always no, because you cannot use my blobs. As you can see, we're using the uh, E parameter with a uh, specific number in here, with a specific identifier, which is actually the ACID. The ACID is unique for every device, and this is getting fused into the, um, the blob file. And my file is never going to work for you, so you have to save your own, unfortunately. Then you're going to write the S parameter and create a folder on your desktop. Now, the folder is going to be named, uh, let me try to name it, SHSH, 
32 bit in my case, but this is the uh, the same method for the iPhone 6, the iPhone 6 Plus, the iPhone 5S, and so on. So you should keep that in mind. And then we're going to specify the save path. The save path can be specified with double dash, save dash path, and you're going to take the folder you've just created and put it in here. Then you press enter and the command is going to download a couple of files, analyze them, send a uh, TSS request to Apple server, and verify if iOS 10.2.1 is signed. And as you can see, it says in here that iOS 10.2.1 with this build number 14D27 is signed. And iOS 10.2.1 for device iPhone 5.2 is being signed. It, it was saved successfully in here. Now, if this was uh, successfully made, you should have a file in here containing the, uh, the blob. You can see it in here and it's pretty damn useful because um, according to TeamStart, you're going to be able to downgrade in the future using this. Well, this is pretty much how you do it. After you saved your blob, make sure you keep it somewhere safe. Make sure you label them in, in, a, um, in a form that you, you know what they are or what file is for which device. And uh, this is actually how you save them for iOS 10.2.1. Of course, you can also save them for iOS 10.3 and I actually recommend you to do so. Uh, would be okay, but make sure you do not make the confusion between them because they're going to be saved with, as you can see, it's not a very clear name. Although it has the build number and the iOS version in here, make sure you do not use the wrong one. And if you want a tutorial on future restore, I'm going to make one. Tell me in the comment section down below and I'm going to do so. I'm pretty happy that the 32-bit devices um, have now a um, sort of support, even though in beta for the uh, future restore. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be updated more because you probably know the, um, the iPhone 5 and 5S were dropped in iOS 10.3.2. You can see this video in here. I'm going to link it in the description. And this means that a lot of things will be developed in the future because Apple is not going to patch them anymore. And it's kind of good. Uh, till the next time, do not forget, save your blobs, check out my playlist for downgrades, and till the next time, peace out.